Philadelphia. Looking for Brenda Moore. That one wide. Smacks it up ice. Bodine with him. Two on two. Otto brings it in. John Bodine couldn't get it through the skates. Jovanowski was there. Two on one chance coming the other way. Lowry's in the middle. Barnes in. Barnes shot. Score! Great goal and a two on one chance. There's the mistake. There's the turnover. There's the Panthers goal. And a one nothing lead. Watch this. He got rocking back and forth on the heels of his skates. Showed pass. Dug in with one heel, cut to his left. I mean, that is a terrific goal. Very hard to execute when you pull to the backhand and try to get it up high like this, but Stu Barnes is an excellent skilled player. Away, Mellenby puts it in the zone. Picked up by Niedermeyer. Lindros, just enough of him so he couldn't move forward. Lindros runs into Mellenby. So you wonder what the Flyers can do here to try and create scoring opportunities. It is even pointless, I think, for Terry Murray to say to his defenseman, okay, try to join the rush. They look. That's Jarrett. Pass blocked. Clipped away by Svela again. Two on two. No sir. What a shot by Terry. Terry and saw Lindsay coming. Terry Murray probably had this nightmare last night. Yep. Of Florida coming in here and playing the perfect road. Only goal in this game. Even strength. The first odd man rush of the game. Converted. Held in. by bond Into the middle. Lowry looking shot. Score! Dave Lowry set up by Barnes. And Florida takes a two nothing lead. Dave Lowry went for the front of the net. That is Dave Lowry's fourth playoff goal so far this season. And Dave Lowry is a bonus guy when he gets four goals for you in the playoffs. He only got ten goals in the regular season. There is Joe Banowski, the youngster, put out there against Lindros. Ends it in. Joe Banowski on the far side. Had it, lost it. Kick. Looking in front, cutting LeClaire. Couldn't get it to him. Jammed up to the side. We got Brenda Moore set up in front as well. Everybody moving down low here. Centering pass comes to Terry at his shot. Safe and Beesbrook and he covers. Lindros reaching in. Jody Hogan like it and pushes Lindros behind the net. Well, you got to get him out of there somehow. Jody Hall was just doing what he had to do. At the same time, Eric Lindros had to try to go for that one. But you talk about complete domination defensively. Florida kicked at it, sent it in. Van Beesbrook knocked it away. Goes to the corner in the rebound. Van Beesbrook batted away that one. Lowry got it off the board. Niedermeyer sends it towards the empty net. Won't matter. It's over. The Florida Panthers have shut out the Philadelphia Flyers. Eric Lindros, who didn't have a shot through the first two periods, he and the rest of the team virtually held out of this game by the great team effort of the Panthers. And they have won game one on the road. A terrific effort. John Van Beesbrook will be the first one to, to share the credit and actually give the credit to the guys in front of him. He only faced 18 shots in this hockey game. That makes them really old. Really old. Lindros wins that battle. Centered in front. Howard Chuck hit the post. Let's find out what happened there. It was a trip on Svela that that was the turnover that wasn't called and I'm sure that's why Mark Fa why Mark Fawcett didn't call this when Brian Scrudlin has a good grip on Eric Lindros's stick they let Eric get away with the trip on Svela so he's not going to make the retribution call Lindros and Brian Scrudlin John LeClaire was knocked down in comes Lindros on Scrudlin and Scrudlin the left hand but not a punch so it's an extra shift for Eric Lindros who Rams partner, but here's a loose puck for Barnes. Stu Barnes with Shepard in front, and he hit the goal. No scores in and out quickly, and Ray Shepard has Florida's first goal. With 23 seconds left here in the first period, and after the giveaway, the chance comes through. There's Ron Hextall with the save. Howard Chuck comes back, and he's hit with a high stick, and that's Peter Svoboda's stick that hits him. Scrudlin and Dvorak. Here's a pass across for Falloon. Now Pat Falloon on the give and go. It's chopped away from him. High in the air. And now LeClaire is hooked down. Here's a call. Dvorak pulling down LeClaire. Here's Lindros. And they score. Carl Dunkhouse. With Otto, Terry wants to make it a three on two. Lindros dropped it back, and here's Florida starting on a odd man rush. Niedermeyer into the zone, looking to center it. Laws can't find it. And Lindros takes a hit from Jovanovski. And Jovanovski with the best hit on Lindros tonight. Lindros back to the play. Jovanovski with a good left forearm. 
Takes Lindros down, he's off balance, flattens him. Finishes the check, now here's good discipline by Jovanovski. He's not backing down, but he's not punching away. He's not gonna take an undisciplined penalty. Howard check. He was looking for Lindros on the far side. Renberg back to Desjardins. There's the shot, bouncing in, loose puck. LeClaire looking for it. It's in Kirchner, skate, still loose. Here's LeClaire, scores! Panthers doing a pretty good job on the penalty kill, and now the Flyers come to the attack. LeClaire is in, and Van Beenbrook covered up and lost his mask as Big 88 crashed through. Has 23 points in postseason play. Here's Balloon over the line with Dan Quinn. Quinn looking to center, and then Beesbrook came across. Got a piece of that shot by Brindamore. Here's a loose puck, and Lindros is after it. Strudland on his back. And now a penalty coming up as we've got an injured Florida Panther. It looks like Paul Laws on the ice. Strudland takes Lindros in. Laws is there. When Lindros comes off, there's the stick right over the head. The one hand with the stick over the head of Paul Laws. <laughs> Who, me? In the Florida power play, Shepard has the lone Panther goal. Samuelson off the board, Shepard picks it up. Lowry's in front, he scores! Dave Lowry has tied it on a feed from Ray Shepard. Here's how 55 got hurt. That's a pretty good chop by 88 there, and no call. Mark Fossett's looking at it. Here's Lindros. He's trying to hit the stick. Where is it? Just above the shin pad. And the pass broke it up. And Bill Lindsay will put to center ice. Big shift by the Legion of Doom. Here they come again. John LeClair to Lindros. Scores! Lindros at the end of a great shift. Changed the momentum back in the Flyers' favor. And the former flyer sends it into the Philly zone. Under three minutes left. Here's a turnover. Centering. And Hextall with a big stop off Dave Lowry to preserve this one-goal lead. Lindros on Barnes. Around comes the stick. One hand. Unintentional. And Doug McClain well, says, the, what's it going to take? The stick on Paul Laws, where Laws was... K.O. Lindros got a penalty on that one. Whatever they gave Eric Lindros before this game, they should do it again before game three. Oh, he was a force tonight. A goal, two assists. Rod Hextall, steady in goal. 24 stops. I don't know if there have been many better games than what he played there tonight. The, the fire was in his eyes before the game, and uh, right from the very first shift, right through to the very end, it was... I don't know how, it was just outstanding. Holding him to zero shots last game, you know you're going to expect uh, him to step his game up, and he definitely did. And, and um, But, you know, things happen, and we just got to be uh, aware where he is on the ice at all times. I mean, we battled hard. They were desperate to, to win, and I thought we battled right back. It was a bit of a fluky goal. The last one was off a leg. and um, Pretty solid performance from what I see. Scrudlin and Brindamore, and Brindamore took a high stick right from the faceoff, and Scrudlin likely to go off. Brian Scrudlin on the faceoff, he was just trying to lift Brindamore's stick, missed, came up, hit him in the mouth, and he gets the four-minute minor. 2.20 remaining in Scrudlin's double minor. Back in comes Balloon, dropping it. Spavona checked before he got a shot away. He'll get it back again. There's the shot, rebound, Otto, Jets, they score! Second half of the double minor to Strudland. They scored with seven seconds left in that first penalty. And Strudland awaits 127 left in his second. Talked about Quinn being a power play specialist. He has three points in the playoffs. All have come on the power play. Here's Howard Jones. Feeding the point. The shot in wide of the net, bouncing up onto the mesh, brought down, and they score! Eric Lindros at the side of the net, found the corner, 
and the Flyers cash in on both ends of the double minor to lead 2-0. 15 to 2 the shots the two power play goals and it's been all flyers it's the year of the rat in florida laws ahead to jovanovsky and hull here's jody hull on the right side to scrutland centering it and huff just missed tipping it by hextall it's played off the boards and kept in by florida now cork him to the line Paul laws there scores <laughs> the long shot by Paul Laws, and I think maybe Brian Scrooglin tipped this one in front of Ron Hextall. Scrooglin was providing the screen, and Laws did the right thing. It's not how hard you get it by that first guy. It was just a little snapshot from the blue line. A screen in front, and I think Brian Scrooglin might have tipped it by Ron Hextall. And this guy's not going to throw his rat hat on the ice. Well, what do you think? I mentioned that hair pull <laughs> Doug McLean the good news he finished ahead of Jimmy but behind Pat Rout Riley and Rennie Latch it's a pretty high profile bunch in this town here's Pat Faluna the clear cut break in Van Beesbrook down to make the stop that's a big save by Van Beesbrook to keep it a one goal game back from the Panthers here's Ray Shepard shooting Lowry's beaten and Hextall a stop as they have chances at either end. Eric Lindros, after the scoring chance, tries to plant himself in the slot. And in comes Brian Scrudland and just levels Eric Lindros. Good, solid, clean hit. Now, Rhett Warner just missed Lindsay at center ice. And Brindamore will turn back. Here's Rod Brindamore trying to get by Terry Carter, who rams him into the glass. Now, Dan Quinn cycling. In front it goes. There's the shot. They score. It's a two-goal lead once again for Philadelphia. Hextall looks to the left, spots the puck, gets the left shoulder. Howard Chuck comes by, catches Dvorak with the high stick. Down he goes. Now Doug McLean wants the high sticking penalty. Brian Scrudland had the high sticking penalty in the first period. On the face off, Howard Chuck going after it, and he's had the stick up on you and Mellenby. Mellenby over. And Mellenby eyeing Lindros. And Lindros has got the gloves up. He gave Svela a shot from behind. Lindros took a swing at the puck and just missed Barnes. There's the shot on Svela, and Mellonby didn't like it. He comes over. Gives Lindros the shot. And Jovanovski sends it down the ice. And now Jovanovski yeah, took a swing at Lindros. And here comes Podin moves Podin in. over. And the game's over, but we're now not it's done Lowry now. over on Podin. This is going to be too much for anybody to handle. Hextall's in there because Bill Lindsay, I think, is on Lindros. And Lowry really in a tussle in front of the Florida bench with Podine. And there's John Van Beesbrook now. He's out trying to get Hextall out of it. Now Lawless is going to go with Podine. Now Tyrion comes in. Jovanovski is gone, and so is Lindros. They've gone to the dressing room, so they're not going to be involved in anything further. Now, this is a bad thing when you get over by the glass. Now, all the fans are right there. They're trying to get involved, but it looks like cooler heads will prevail. Sean Podine is being ushered to his end of the ice. Dave Lowry, Sean Podine being patted on the back by the flyer bench. Certainly came up big for the Flyers tonight. I mean, he's their he's their leader. He's their big uh, big player, and I think he really showed up and he uh, he really led them to the victory tonight. Coming into this series, we knew it's going to be one of those series. And uh, you look at the size of their team, and they're uh, they're a big team. But we match up pretty well, I think. And you know, uh, you expected of of those things after. Dan Quinn moves in the corner, looking for the puck. He had a goal and an assist 
in game three, centered and a shot knocked down in front. Big defensive play by Scott Mellenby. And now here's Niedermeyer. Rob Niedermeyer scores! Rob Niedermeyer's first goal of these playoffs. 102 the time of Niedermeyer's first ever Stanley Cup playoff goal. Podine doesn't want to let his team get down. Good solid hit on Jovanovski. It's been the old Ron Hextall out handling the puck. Four on four, a big hit by Jovanovski on Lindros. As they reacquaint each other. Barnes fights for it, got possession back to Jovanovski. The shot is blocked by Brindamore. Jovanovski will set it up again to Jason Woolley. In low it goes, Niedermeyer, Woolley, back to Niedermeyer, shooting, scores! stop but Hextall went through did the backward roll and drew the penalty another win by Lindros on the face off and a shot right on it'll come back to Svoboda again across it goes Dyke comes by his rebound they beat Brook down and Rimberg hit the side of the net now Dyke moves into the corner Hart's looking for it and now has it deep in the zone behind the net Howard just centering it puck is bouncing balloon and a great stop by Van Beekbrook. Shots on goal 10-2 here in favor of the Flyers in the second period. Constant pressure. On the right side for Quinn. Now Hull and Fitzgerald killing the penalty. Desjardins the shot. Fit in. Seven and a half minutes gone in the second period. Still 2-0 Florida. But it's been all Flyers in front. Van Beekbrook. And Otto lost control of it. And Van Beekbrook will cover it. Fans are on their feet for John Van Beekbrook here in the second period. Away goes Trent Platt. Platt circling the net, looking to center it in front. He does! Van Beekbrook! Robin Cody! Oh, here's Renberg now in front, scores! Michael Renberg! The 21st shot is the one that finally beats Van Beekbrook. Flyers. Forcing the Panthers to try and play more defense, especially here in the second period. It's been flyer first 10 minutes and here in the last three minutes. Here's a pass for Brindamore. They score! And it's now tied up at two apiece. Good work ethic along the boards to get it free for Florida. As we're down to the final 10 seconds in the period. Kept in by Laws. There's the shot. Score! game Ed Jovanovski's had on Eric Lindros. Lindros doing his thing and there's Jovanovski. Even at his age he is becoming a leader on this team. He shows so much poise, pressure situations, nothing seems to bother. Maintains possession and it hopped over Huffman's stick. Here's Niedermeyer. 
the shot by Howard Chuck. It's right between his pads. He can't find it, but he gets that leg down, the right leg down. 43rd save of the game for John Van Beesbrook. And the Panthers skate out with it. Jovanovski rolls it in. Lowry, Mellonby, and Barnes up front as they crash in behind the net. Beat the point. Jovanovski shot and scores! Dave Lowry! And the Panthers have tied the series! I had been hit hard twice on this shift, and look at that. He knew exactly where Falloon was. That was a Mark Messier elbow right into the face. And there's Brendan Moore with two hard hits. One there on Jovanovski. He throws another one in here into Paul Laws. Barnes couldn't get it. Desjardins back up now for Brendan Moore. Kept alive, though, by Jovanovski on back to Svela. Shoot, save! Hits the Great setup by the Panthers, even if you lose the draw. Jovanovski and Murphy are there. Oh, it's and Hextall wound up coming up with it. That brings the fans out of their seats. Oh, my. It was not his fault that he was in the predicament. The glass, the partitions, caused the problem. The dump in by the Panthers. The puck hit the partition and caromed out front. Look at the puck. It's in front. Now, look at him. Open net, the puck's rolling a little bit. Quick shot, and Hextall snared it. My goodness. Even though the puck was shot over towards his side of the net, he still made the play in getting back. Give him full marks for that. And you know this guy? Eight years he's been playing the game. 19 years of age. Boy, he's done some good hitting in this series with these two guys. Jovanovski, when he hits, he has a great leg drive. He has strong, strong thighs. He puts his chest and arms into you, but it's the leg drive that makes him go. Who extended his leg just the same way and posted in, but in the first game, he beat Hextall. It's been a great shot. Oh, man, Beesbrook stopped it. Loop puck, they jam away. But it did not go in. No score. Man, Beesbrook made a couple of great saves, and there even knocked the puck away from his own goal crease. Great save here with his right foot. Kicks it aside, but with the five on three, happening the flyers kept the puck in the zone and when the big train gets this amount of time and it's a rocket he found open ice watch the stick bend oh man and there's the celebration right out in front and now here's niedermeyer stepping in feeds it over to jovanovski hits the puck with a shot and then a bad angle shot by dvorak got the glass so jovanovski jumps in hextall plays the angle goal post Rebound. The first penalty to Lindros is over. Now Murphy moving in. Murphy just controlling. Wrist shot. Oh, it's on the Oh, and he held that one off, too. And that's how you do your thing. If you take the minor, you have to do your job. And Hextall with a couple of great saves. Joel Otto's had a great second period here. The play was kept alive by the Panthers, and they had themselves a couple of really good scoring chances. Look at the concentration of Hextall. He likes to spread out, and there you see he makes two saves before he gets crowded. Jovanovski put the puck back. Watch the people go down. Look at the pass across, and Hextall reaches back with an open net and knocks the puck away. What a wonderful big-time save that was by Hextall. Everybody thought that the shot would have been taken from the blue line. Instead, he was able to react by not going out too far. 
And just getting his arm in the way. Nudge to hit. Or a play to be made by Lowry. Fed it on now for Barnes. And a shot stop. It's skipped its way through and the game is tied. Stu Barnes, 1-1. And the puck slithers through the legs of Ron Hextall. Well, it's a nice setup by the Flyers, or pardon me, by the Panthers heading up ice. Hextall's got concentration. You see the hole through the legs? Right underneath, caroming off his right leg. Lindros has got no room here, none whatsoever, but he's standing still quite a bit. There he took a shot. He's taken right out of the play. Back with it comes Tarion. Watched by Jovanovski. Tarion waits. Fires. Again from the tie-up, a tangle in skates. It's fed on back. Fitzgerald and Jovanovski save. Oh, and a ricochet across the creek from Lindsay. Miller got a pass on the turning stick of Stu Barnes, who brings it ahead. Shakes away from one. Barnes moving in. Fed it over for Sheffield. Save excellent. Centering pass, and it's blocked back down by Fuller. This was the last shift. As Gulen was opposite Lindros, the puck is there. They met up. They continue to battle a shot by Scrooge to the face of Lindros. John Van Beesbrook is back at the end of the ice where he began play three hours and 20 minutes ago. The shots were 12 4 in overtime, that er overtime period. Lowry. Lowry with a red shot. It went wide. Rebound tipped off by Barnes off Hextall. Loop puck fed away by Podine. Oh, nearly a finesse move by the Panthers. Warner able to play it on. Panthers hustled to it. Chopped back in by Jody Hall. Samuelson off the boards. Hall has it. Flip one in front. Controlling his hole. And it's going to score. High pop in the second overtime. And the Panthers have won the game. It was uh, pretty excited there for about 30 seconds. And then we were too exhausted to cheer anymore. Uh, it's, it's quiet right now, but, uh, you know, it's quite a quiet excitement because, uh, you know, this is a big, big win for us going home. There's no doubt about that. It was uh, just an exceptional effort, I thought, and uh, to come in here and win and battle the way we did, you've got to be proud of, the, of your team. The willpower is, is what keeps you going. I mean, guys were talking uh, in the intermission about uh, training camp and how hard we worked at training camp, and that's what this was all about. Um, you know, doing the extra bike rides then and, and the paying the price then. And it's all, you know, it's going to work out. It's going to work out trying to stay positive. So, I mean, that's willpower. Are you wanting to make any predictions when it goes in? We're going to win. Okay. Doug McLean wants his team to play exactly the way they played in the third period and the two overtime periods. They dominated. They used their speed. Here's Sean Podine shooting it, and Van Beesbrook with his first stop. In behind the net, oh, DeMaio was leveled. A big hit by Jovanovski. Here's the hit. DeMaio comes out from behind the net. When you come out with your head down, you're going to pay the price. They love. Hextall rebound. Oh. oh. Well, here's Prindamore, side of the net, throws it through, and it comes back out the center. Peter Svoboda with the puck. Svoboda was somewhat questionable for this one. And here's a giveaway. Here's Lindsay. Bill Lindsay shot, scores! Bill Lindsay, a short-handed goal, and Florida opens up a 1-0 lead, and this place is going wild. Comes back, Svoboda's shot, blocked by Scruthin. How about the Florida forwards going down to block shots? They're gonna need some help here. Lodge has lost his step. Here's a shot, another shot by Desjardins, knocked down by Van Beesbrook, and he makes the stop. Panthers get away with one there. Player forces the turnover with his first hit inside the zone. But again, it just seems like there are more Panthers on the ice than Flyers. And here's a chance. Here's Tom Fitzgerald on a breakaway. Fitzgerald, he fanned on him at the empty net, had Hextall down and out, and Fitzgerald fanned. Breakaway. The crowd of Let's Go Panthers shot just roll wide of the net from Johan Garpenlov. Same two on the face, and there you see the numbers. 
Florida with the edge. Again, Eric Lindros struggle. Shot, they score! Power play goal! It's Rob Niedermeyer, and here come the Rats. It's 2-0 Florida as the Flyers' season over. Oh, man, the pressure turns up incredibly now. Right off the faceoff, Niedermeyer will get free, squared off against Brindamore. Then Brindamore went off towards the point, and nobody picked up Niedermeyer. Philadelphia is going to have to reach down real deep right now. Rob Niedermeyer was under tremendous pressure to score in these playoffs. They work it back to the point. Here's Chris Terry in the fake. And Lowry, good block to break it up. The Panthers try to move out to three on two. Here's Barnes to the middle for Lowry off the skin. He scores! It's his series of destiny. A big goal again to really put this one almost out of reach for Philadelphia. What Lowry did there, right, to me, it is the single thing that looks the easiest in the NHL that is the most difficult in the season for the Philadelphia Flyers. Here's Eric Lindros trying to break free. Lindros from his knees, throws it in front. Oh, oh no. Able to move it ahead. Five and a half to go. The regulation time. Back the other way. Lindros is off for like 30 seconds. It's back on. Shots a save and another stop by Van Beesbrook. He got the rebound too. Desjardins. First pass out of the zone to John LeClaire. Here's LeClaire trying to get it through. Good use of LeClaire. A shot. He scores. John LeClaire gets the goal. And the Flyers are on the board. And we see some signs of life out of the Philadelphia bench. With 4.17 to go now in the third, it's a two-goal hockey game. 40 left in regulation time. Here's Desjardins moving it in ahead. Broken up by Florida. Here's a chance. Two on one. Bill Lindsay to Gorpinlov. Shot. Scores! Johan Gorpinlov gets the empty net goal. And the Florida Panthers lead 4-1 over the Flyers. Florida is going on. To the Eastern Conference Finals, where they'll take on the Pittsburgh Penguins. And that'll do it. It's all over from Miami. The Panthers beat the Flyers 4-1. They win four games to two. The Flyers season is over. The Panthers are moving on. Eric Lindros will have to answer the question.